status check of Atlas, Centaur, and Gozar readiness will be conducted at T-minus 25 seconds. And then seconds before liftoff, the RD-180 engine ignites, performs a health check, followed by ignition to lift the Atlas V and Gozar off the launch pad. After liftoff, you'll be hearing the voice of United Launch Alliance's Marty Malinowski providing launch vehicle ascent data. We're standing by to pick up the count. Counting. Three, two, one, mark. And we're at T-minus four minutes and counting. Those enabled. We're proceeding toward a 6.42 p.m. liftoff. NOAA's Gozar satellite is confirmed on internal power. The Atlas will be heading nearly due east, 100.7 degrees, and will reach Mach 1, or the speed of sound, about 35 seconds after liftoff. T minus 3 minutes, 16 seconds and counting. Three minutes. Securing yellow two topping. Atlas tanks to flight pressure. Two minutes, 50 seconds. If just internal. Two minutes, 35 seconds and counting. Everything is go. Just a few seconds away from transferring Atlas and Centaur power to internal. One minute fifty-nine. Vehicle internal. One fifty-five. Launch sequencer start. One fifty. Securing Centaur LO2. 140. Launch enabled. 137. FTS armed. T minus one minute, 30 seconds and counting. One twenty. OCUs armed. FCS count started. 115. Reduce ECS for launch. Roger. 110. Standing by for the Central. final range status report. One minute. Rock report range status. Range green. Range is green and we are go for launch at 6.42 p.m. 50 seconds away from liftoff. Forty seconds. Stable at step three. T minus thirty seconds and counting. Twenty-eight. ECS reduced for launch. Roger. Twenty-five. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go goes R. Fifteen seconds and counting. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of NOAA's GOES R, America's most advanced weather eye in the sky, elevating environmental intelligence to new heights and saving lives. Looks good.
Now flying the zero angle attack phase of flight. Body rights look good. Booster has throttled down as scheduled. Response looks good. Roll program is complete. Body rights controlling down the middle. Listening to the voice of Marty Malinowski. Mach 1. Standing by to pass max through Q. max Q. This is the maximum aerodynamic pressure area. When mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the Marty rocket's velocity and good. resistance created by the atmosphere. NASA's Atlas V Booster has begun throwing back up for an and response looks good. goes our spacecraft continue into flight. The uh, United Launch Alliance Atlas booster doing its job. One minute, 50 seconds into flight, yeah, the first two solid this. rocket boosters will be jettisoned, followed uh, about a second and a half later by boosters three and four. Coming up on SRB jettison, and we have the first pair and the second pair. Looks like a good separation. Now find Now pressurizing the flight level, signatures look good. Three minutes into flight, about 30 seconds away from jettison of the payload fairing, which has protected NOAA's GOES-R during its flight through the atmosphere. And we have begun throttling to two and a half Gs in preparation for payload fairing jettison. Booster engine signatures look good. And we have payload for in jettison. Looks like a good jettison. Three minutes, 42 seconds into flight. And we have throttled back up. Next, approaching our 4.6 G constant throttle. About. And we have begun to throttle. Boost phase cooldown is underway. About 30 seconds away from booster engine cutoff. Standing by for Boost booster engine on. cutoff. And we have Bico. Engine shutdown looks good. Standing by in about six seconds for the Centaur's second stage to separate from the booster. We have indication of AC set. Good separation. Go. Locks pre start underway. GN2 purge firing is as well. And we have ignition and full thrust on the RL10. This uh, Centaur single RL-10C engine burn, producing 22,900 pounds of thrust, will burn for just under eight minutes. Oh, no is the our RCS thermal conditioning firings. Adjust security roadblocks with pad access control. Roger. Readiness pole for padding. RL-10 performance looks good. Chamber pressures, fuel injectors. I'm sorry, fuel venturi pressure. 
Box pump discharge, all within band. Ready. That was pneumatic. Ready. Centaur propulsion. Ready. Centaur pneumatic. Centaur PU is now in closed loop operation, except it is still requesting a slightly oxidizer rich condition. We do have indication of the booster stage performance at this point, uh, slightly above nominal. RCS line temperatures continue to warm towards bottle temperatures. R10 performance continues to look good. Tank pressures are stable. Spurt bottle pressures look good. Our body rates continue to look good, controlling down the middle. Current altitude, 139 miles. Downrange distance, 888 miles. Current velocity, 14,209 miles per hour. Coming up on the format change. And we did have a slight drop out in data, but data has resumed. All signatures look good. Centaur continues to look like it's making good progress down the middle of the range track. Current altitude, 147 miles. Downrange distance, 1133. Current velocity, 14,715. Looking at a live track of the Atlas Centaur Gozar rocket uh, as they transit across the Atlantic Ocean. The Centaur is powering the uh, Gozar satellite. Controlling near nominal MR. This flight will uh, continue on for more than three hours as uh, the Centaur and engine will uh, have a total of three burns before spacecraft separation later tonight. Body rates are still controlling down the middle. Centaur currently is flying at an altitude of 150 miles, downrange distance 1,389, current velocity 15,600, 15,290 miles per hour. Just a little more than three minutes remaining in this first of three Centaur burns. Hydrazine line temperatures have warmed to bottle temperatures. That system looks very good. Still seeing our normal thermal conditioning firings. Centaur PU is now controlling near nominal, having worked off the excess oxidizer. Ten minutes after liftoff, you're listening to the voice of Marty Malinowski describe the progress of Centaur. All systems are operating well. 